what is going on guys, it's boy sister here, bringing you guys in a Photoshop tutorial, updating you guys with your thumbnail designs and like cool stuff, I do this every few months or so, you guys really enjoy them, and basically what I'm going to uh, teach you guys today is new techniques and things that I've been using to make my uh, designs better, hopefully they can go the same way for you guys, uh, so that's going to be doing today, make sure if you leave a like, 200 likes on this video, you can see secret down below, but as well as we're going to be using this black texture for you guys, so if you guys can check the description now, you can download this black texture for because we're going to be using that for the uh, the tutorial. Otherwise, you can make your own black texture for basically like starting off your thumbnails and such with you know making uh, blending together all your favorite you know textures I guess you can say or cloud textures or something like that and uh, creating a nice little you know simple black texture like this so you can get started. Otherwise, I'm using the heck out of my brush stock pack. It's five dollars only. It updates every two weeks, so you guys can get some new and improved uh, stocks and stuff for you guys to use. So it's the most for your money, and the price will never change. So if you don't have the uh, five dollars today, you can get it whenever you guys can. Also, if you guys don't have the brush pack, but I, I really, really, really advise you guys to do so. It'll be in the description down below for you guys to purchase. You can use my 30K pack, which also has some really good brushes for you guys to use for this kind of tutorial. So, that's why I'm just ask, telling you guys that right now, because so, I'm using my brush stocks. Of course, if you made your own for my tutorial, you guys can do that too. Let's get going. All right. Got that out the way. Like I said, we're going to be using this as a reference. I made this with my friend Adapt. And we're going to make a backing like this. Just really nice looking. Just really, I don't know how to say it. just looks way better than my previous thumbnail. So I want to say, you know, I'm going to show you guys the techniques. So let's get going. We're going to make the thumbnail for this video. So whatever you just clicked on before, that's what we're going to be teaching you guys. So if you guys like it, let's get going. All right. So we're going to make a nice little new layer here with Control shift n And uh, let's get started. So I'm going to be using, like I said, my brush stock. So I'm going to be using this one right here. Uh, right here, and I'm gonna be just clicking with a white brush simply enough. Uh, by the way, if you don't have stocks like brush stocks, you're gonna use textures as well. It all goes the same way, but I've been, you know, really, really liking my designs with the brush stocks, that's so why I'm using them. Um, boom, we're just gonna click a, a multiple times around. And what I found myself doing is when I'm finished, like, you know, applying a texture or something, I use my eraser, simply eraser with a, uh, you know, soft hardness and such, and I just erase around just a little bit. Just so it's like nice and subtle, the design's still there, you can still see it, and I feel like it makes it look more like a texture, not just, you know, hey, this is a texture with stocks applied to it and such. So I feel like this is a cool little thing for me that I've been doing, and makes it look really cool, and I think we're gonna leave it like so, and let's see what overlay looks like too, can't really see it applied. So, we're gonna put it on a normal, and we're just gonna lower it down just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put that on 35. All right, so we're gonna make another new layer, Control Shift N, and we're gonna apply some other textures or other stocks, and uh, we're gonna do that right now. Let's just go ahead and just boom, apply. We're just applying different textures. We're gonna make the background look really nice, and after afterwards, we're gonna do the lighting and such, and then you know completely you know fill it off with a nice cool CC. Like I said, I'm gonna erase this a little bit, make it nice and subtle. Boom. And yeah, there we go. Lower that a little bit. Maybe put it on overlay. Let's see what that looks like now. Uh, yeah, I'm down. All right, it's cool enough for me. All right, I'm make another new layer, and we're just gonna go ahead and apply one more for now. And boom. Oops. Put that on a. That's an eraser, isn't it? Yep. I do that a lot. Shush. All right. Boom. 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 And boom. All right. So. I've got to erase this one more time. So like I said, you need to either rinse and repeat. It's basically what I'm doing right now. And you can use your favorite uh, textures and stocks and stuff. Like I said, if you use my my previous uh, tutorial, I think, which was the creating your own brush stocks and such, I showed you guys how to make brush stocks like these. So if you guys want to make your own and then apply them to your own thumbnails, that's what kind of like where I'm going for. Make sure you guys do that. And I just get some really cool designs looking. Uh, let's just put this. Oops, missing. All right, overlay. All right, I'm liking this. All right. So now with this, I have a simple, you know, really cool little, you know, texture that makes my, you know, like you can see back here, kind of like the texture here. So we're going to start applying the color to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to another new layer. I'm going to combine these groups together. I'm just going to call this, uh, just I'm going to call it texture. And of course, you can make this your own template, by the way, too. So when you do this, you can uh, just name it, all your layers, and name it, and make sure you can change it, you know, pre you know before and after. You know what cool stuff, you know what a freaking template is, right? You make your own template. All right. So, we're going to use this new layer, and we're going to use another brush, and we're just going to make it red. We're going to use red. Um, by the way, I'm gonna, when, you, when you choose a color, choose one from up here. Like, make it like somewhere like an inch or so away from over here, you know what I mean? Away from the uh, far right, because we're going to be doing something a little differently, because we're going to make the lighting pop out with more of a uh, demanding color, which is going to be like this color besides this color. So, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Uh, you know, don't, don't cry about it right now, but I'll 
I'll tell you guys in a second. So we're going to go ahead and just apply this color and just around the edges for now. And uh, maybe just one in the middle. And then we're just going to erase it just a little bit like so. Not too much. Just apply some color around here. All right, and we're gonna try vivid light. I think that's what I had last time. Yeah, vivid light. It looks really, really good. For now, it's just applying a simple, simple color, uh, just so we can get started, and then so on and so forth. So right now, this is just our simple color, and we're gonna blur this just a little bit. We're gonna use blur, Gaussian blur, and we're just gonna blur it a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm down for this. All right, let's go for it again. We're gonna go ahead and use new stock. Let's use this one, and then we're gonna apply some red again around these places like so and then filter blur it a little bit boom all right looking good so far so what i really learned myself is you know making you know this always i always used to do like one hit of a color on top or bottom and then so on and so forth and put little you know random splats of color around but i feel like if you do like the whole thing make it like uh like a fill the whole entire texture with some kind of color or some kind of you know anything and then applying some color to it it really i feel like it makes it a lot more better for me that's what my i've been doing lately and it just makes it look really good so we're just going to apply this with uh vivid light and then we're just gonna lower it just a little bit got a little color around so rating somewhere we had before we had to make sure we also had a, a good blast of other colors and such or well, not other colors but other uh, simple brush you know like you know lighting I guess you can say that's why I have this here but before we do that actually we'll do that now why not why not alright we'll do that now we're gonna add a little a simple brush like I said and we're gonna use the same red and we're just going to apply this like so and then we're going to just lower this just a little bit. All right, so you can see the reason why we don't have this, you know, the exact color we have here. You see how, like, dull this is? And I'm, I'm, my Photoshop is lagging for some reason. See how dull that was and how, like, really vibrant this is? The reason for that is got to start adding a little bit of CC while we're doing this now. I've been learning that, you know, if I add up some of CCs even below or above stocks and such like that, uh, it makes my thumbnails just look a lot better and, like, you know, produce. It's like steps and such. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a simple, uh, simple curve for right now. And we're just going to do a simple S to make these, you know, colors just pop out just a little bit more. We'll say here for now, maybe not so much of an S, but what I'm trying to do is just make it like, you know, just a, this is the top one right here is making my, my colors stand out a little more. That's what I'm really focusing on right now. So I have like a simple, a little curve like that. We're going to leave it like that for now. We can always change it if we want, but for now we're going to leave that curve like that. And we're also going to add a contrast. I've been using this a lot too. If I put this down a little bit, you can see the colors get more vibrant. They start popping out some more, and that's what I really want. And simply enough, I kind of want to put brightness maybe to one or so. I don't know. And that looks good for now. All right, so you can see we're getting more of this color that we have here. So if I uncheck these, you can see it's like dull and such. And that's what we have going on with thumbnails nowadays. And we need to get it more vibrant and we're popping out. So adding simple CCs as well as you're doing your steps, your, your random textures or your, your stocks and such really helps you out. All right, so we're going to make another new layer. <clears throat> and we're going to add, <clears throat> sorry, my like voice is raspy right now. Add a simple white. And I'm just going to go ahead and just apply this over here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. All right, boom, overlay. You can see what that did right there. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> oh my God, I know I'm annoying you. It's annoying me too. Anyway, overlay on these stocks here. You can see my stocks just, I don't know. I'm just going to say this out loud right now, but I think my stocks are pretty goddamn good. So, you know, I've been applying these stocks and getting this look really freaking good on overlay. And also I'm going to do this simple little, you know, erase a little bit. All right, oh, we got to erase. That's a brush. Boom. All right, a little bit bigger. All right. Erase a little bit, and you can see what we have here is really, it's looking really good, and I'm proud of it. So, what we're going to do now, as I said before, remember I said, you know, if I use this red color or whatever, I have this, like, red color over here. I'm going to use a red that's, like, more vibrant like this. This is going to be our, like, main point, like, our main color. So, I'm going to apply it right here, more of our darker spots. Boom, like so. And you can see, it just, it makes, it just feels like, you know, you can see there's two different tones of a, a light. You can see this more vibrant red here on these little three points like I just hit before. And then these little dulls. You can see like the little dull amounts of reds, but they're not popping out as much. That's why I really feel like it's just a game changer, I feel like. So, lower this just a little bit. I'm keeping it on overlay. I'm going to put it on 75, and we're going to apply another curve. For right now, we're going to see what it looks like if I apply another curve. 
and I just did the same thing as before. I did a little bit of a loop here, so just had a simple little loop was I have here. So I'm gonna uncheck and check so you can see what that looks like, making our reds a lot more just vibrant and such. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, this is like really, you can see how this is like, you know, really smooth texture and stuff like that. The way that's happening or why that's happening is uh, because I put blurred on it. So I'm gonna, I'm, as soon as I'm done for a second, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna put a simple uh, or a nice little red in certain areas. We're gonna do that in a second. Let's see what happens. And maybe this one? Yeah. All right, boom. I'm gonna add a red, so it's a little splats of like really vibrant red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur it off just a little bit before I put the actual blur on. So I'm gonna put maybe a blur of like that much. All right, now I'm gonna hold shift and select all these layers. Expect like, also the uh, the curve here. Uh, control J to duplicate, and then Control E to merge it all together. And we're gonna filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're just gonna blur this off just a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean like three to four or so. So I'm gonna put on three for now. It's all right, all right, so I'm gonna do that. I don't know what the hell that was either. So I'm gonna do is I'm going to erase some spots just a little bit, just, you know, random, just random erases. You can see here, just gonna get some more of a, a nice cool little atmosphere look to it and make it all like one texture. That's what my thought process is when I'm doing my thumbnail designing now. It's like, hey, I don't want to have like, you know, make it look like I'm just applying stocks. I want to make it look like I'm having a, a cool texture. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And so we have this here. Also, cool little thing here, we're almost done by the way, is uh, I have these, you see these little like red things? It looks like I just applied a, uh, uh, like my my brush stocks what I did is I use my brush stocks as an eraser so what I did was I said hey let me um let me apply the uh, let me apply another red right here a little, a little red burst like maybe on the sides or the bottom oop that's the hard brush yes we don't want that a little red brush over here and over here and what I said was I'm gonna use an eraser and I'm gonna use this texture, I guess, whatever texture just has one that has like spacing in between it, and I'm gonna erase it like so. And you know, this is different because you would, to get this effect, you would have to maybe like click a whole bunch of you know, a whole bunch of freaking times with the brush itself. But if you just erase it with a nice, uh, a simple, you know, a hit of a burst of a color, it can look really good. You can see it looks really freaking cool, right? So lower this a little bit. And last but not least, we're gonna apply a simple like light on the top to like fill it all together. So Simple brush, white, uh, make it a little bit bigger. By the way, I'm, I'm gonna make my brushes bigger like this. I hold sh uh, Control and Alt, and then I uh, right click, and I just move it left and right and such. So there you go. If you didn't know that already, and we're just gonna apply it on the top, like so. Just lower that a little bit. And now, something that bothers me is these little gradient lines. I don't know if you can tell but with your monitor, but you can see those little gradient lines. You can see like a little, little, little loops right here. To get rid of those, or at least make it look cool, is I've been learning, I've been, I went and go just filter, blur, radial blur, or motion blur, I'm sorry. And you can see these little radial lines are still here. If I lower it, you can still see they're, like, they're even, even worse if I put this distance up. But if I put it all the way up, I believe it should make the radial line see look like more of a line. It's like straight lines now. So it's a radial line still, or radial, I guess, gradient lines. I really don't know how to say it, but it looks distorted and such. But if you put the rate uh, motion blur all the way on, like all the way to the top, you, just, you just saw me do it, right? The motion blur, or the distance all the way to 2,000 pixels, press OK, and it makes the radial blur just like, you just make the lines just go straight. And it kind of looks cool, it looks almost like a texture. So, to get rid of it, but not get rid of it, but actually make the, the gradient blur or gradient lines apply to something to the design, do that, and you're good to go. Also, if you, if you want to try and get rid of them, you can use Gaussian blur to get rid of them as well. Uh, let's just see if I can get rid of it just a little bit. But you see, the lines are still there, but it looks pretty cool that way. So, if we lower this down a little bit now, uh, lower the fill down just a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna add one last uh, contrast, maybe. Let's see, yeah, down for the contrast, and boom. You're basically, your whole texture thing is done. You can apply a, a hue and saturation now as well to change your color if you wish to. You can see that. A whole bunch of different colors now. Boom. Right? It looks pretty cool, right? You can do that. You can hide it and change it, you know, change it to like, you know, color changer or something like that if you want to. And then every time you know when you open this template, you're like, hey, this is what I got to do to, you know, change my color. Also, since we're already done with this, I'm just going to combine all this and just call it, excuse me, we're going to call this texture. Boom. And we're, we forgot to put this in here. Boom. Texture. And then we can just control J, control E. 
and then merge it to have one simple, uh, you know, simple just layer of the texture itself. Now, what you can do if you don't feel like, you know, this is too much, like it's too, uh, I guess, rough, you can say, go to the filter, blur it off a little bit more, see if you like it that much. I don't know, whoa, that looks crazy. It's just like a, I don't know, something like this. I don't know. If you want it more subtle and not so you can see everything, really. I don't know. It all depends on you guys. If you want to do that, you could. And simply enough, I do the same thing with my text. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the text. We're going to call this video, what did I call it? Uh, pfft, creating awesome thumbnails. Want to say that? Yeah, sure. Creating. And you see the fonts I'm using is Nexa Bold for this right now. Creating uh, awesome and we're going to use we're going to use a cool font. We're going to use brush no, what is it called? It's called like something. It's called something. It's like a cool brush stock. Uh our brush font, war brush. There we go. Creating awesome lower that just a little bit. Creating awesome uh tech, nope, thumbnails. Boom. Creating awesome thumbnails. Name that. Boom. Lower this again. And what I'm gonna do is uh, also oh, let's just move these two up just a little bit so they go inside the other words. Move this up as well. Oop, not this. This. All right, boom. And then simply enough, Control T, select it all, and make it bigger. Now, what I used to do a lot is I used to put a perspective on it. So of course, what you got to do, you got to rasterize this first. So I'm gonna change this color before we rasterize it to our red that we have here. Boom. Right? I'm going to rasterize these things really quickly. Right click rasterize. Make sure everything's spelled right because when you rasterize and if you don't have your uh, Windows history tab open, you can't go back and you would have to like erase the whole entire layer and then rewrite it all. So make sure you guys do that. What I'm going to do, select this. I'm going to hold control and hit the thumbnail, a uh, little thumbnail display here so I can select everything on this part right here. And you can see it says that everything around awesome is actually selected now. So if I go to select, modify, expand, expand it by four or so. And we're going to cut out the awesome words, uh, the text, out of the other two texts right here. So I'm going to just click on thumbnail, press delete, click on creating, and press delete. And it makes it just look really freaking clean. So you can see that it looks really cool. And it's just simple as enough. So also, what I, I like I said before, I used to use the perspective tool. Not so much because when you see how like really like crisp the edges are, and if I put the perspective tool on really quickly, you can see the edges get really like, I don't know, it looks really, it looks blurry. And that's just how it is because you're just messing around with the... Uh, a rasterized layer that's not a smart object so we're just gonna simply enough just turn it a little bit and maybe just add a simple little perspective so it doesn't ruin the quality and then just turn just like sideways a little bit give it a little bit of like just so it's it's viewable and it's not blurry on the edges and the cool stuff just makes it look really freaking awesome so that's our thumbnail for today a thumbnail tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed um also when you're putting any like a uh, Images on it as well. Uh, do I have an image? Do I? Th I think I have an image. No, I don't. Hold on. Do I have an image? I don't have an image. But if you had an image, let's just say this is our image for a second. Put it below the text and put this on luminancy, and then just lower the opacity a little bit. And you can actually get a really cool looking look with the image in the background without messing around with any of these stocks or making it look like you know it's covering stocks and such. So put it on luminancy and lower the opacity down to like 10 or 15. It can make it look really freaking cool. All right, so that's my video for today. Don't forget to leave a like, of course. 200 likes on this video because the secret down below. Uh, also, I have my thumbnail pack, so if you couldn't do any of this stuff we did in this video today, you can purchase a thumbnail pack and actually get your own thumbnails. Actually, updates every, uh, I'm gonna update it every month, so because like a new, some kind of new style of thumbnails. And right now, it currently has these right here. <clears throat> right here. And each one of these get blurred off if you want to. So I have, like one has like, you know, really cool little blurs and stuff. And this one. And then this one, if you blur it off, you can get two little versions of it. So it's really, really cool. Like I said, they're really quality, and you can change everything, the color, the text. So if you want to go ahead and purchase this as well, I believe this is like $6 or something like that. I don't know in the description below for you guys to purchase. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to comment down anything you guys want to see. My next video will probably be a banner design, so that'll be pretty cool. Let's try and hit... 400 likes, we can do it, I know. And we already hit 31K, so thank you guys so much for that as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at with you. All right, I'm done talking. I'll see you guys later. Sysswitch, go. Peace. <laughs> oh my God, I love you guys so freaking much.